Hey guys, welcome back to Digital Dreamscape. We are doing a unbox, setup, and review on the HS60 Pro Surround gaming headset from Corsair. Not necessarily a gaming headset, but just a um, 7.1 surround sound headset. So, um, comes with a warranty guide. Also, a user manual with things in it. Um, then, when we get into the packaging, it's got this funny little strap holding everything in. Securing it. Uh, so, yeah, once we get it out of there. You can see that it doesn't have a mic attached. Um, that's because the mic is detachable, um, which is a cool feature. So if you just want to use it as headphones, you can. Don't necessarily have to have the mic hanging off. Um, so this is the mic that I'm uh, just pulled out. Um, you can see the foam surrounds are really nice and thick. Um, and when you put this thing on, you feel like you're in a submarine. I mean, it really drowns out any any outside um, sounds. Not everything completely, but uh, it really dampens the, the outside noise. Um, so this is actually the um, 7.1 surround sound adapter, um, which is an awesome little feature. And then this is the uh, microphone that I'm pulling out. Um, and you can see it just has a uh, little 3.4 millimeter jack. Um, you pull the cover off and you plug the mic in if you want to use it um, and then what I really like about this mic is that um, it's fully adjustable you can bend it around in all sorts of different configurations um, which is really you know handy if you're eating or you're talking on the phone or something and you just want the mic out of your face you can just kind of bend it around away from your face um so yeah pretty pretty cool mic um it actually has this is a little foam cover uh that goes over the mic to protect it and keep you from spittling all over it uh if you're like me yell at your video games a lot got projectile spitting on the microphone so having the cover on there is essential um so it's got just this plastic protective junk on there that I'm removing um, and installing the little foam cover um, so there yeah there we go once you get that on there it's like putting on a condom you know so uh, yeah got that on there and then um, so it's just got some other plastic protective stuff in there to keep it from I would imagine to keep it from wearing off the uh, paint or whatever while it's in shipping. These are the adjustments are really nice and crisp on this. Um, so they there's uh, stepped adjustments that click into place. They're also numbered, so you can get an exact um, symmetry on your adjustments if you want to. Um, that's a, a really simple configuration. Um, I'm peeling off some more protective stuff around the edges. I guess that's probably just you know more more to protect the finish on the headset, which is which is fine. You know, you want it to look nice and shiny. Um, here I'm looking at the volume. It's got a volume control on the back side, and also um, there's your mute button for the microphone, um, so you can toggle off mute. Um, real easy with that button right there. So you just reach around the back, back side and click, click. And, um, so that's a handy mute button. Um, a lot of them, they're on the cord, which is kind of annoying because you got to try to find it, um, when you're, when you're gaming and you want to just click your mute on your mic. Um, and this one, you just reach up to your head and click, click, um, and I, and I like the volume control also, like being up there. So, 
So the 7.1 adapter um, unfortunately only works with PC. Um, not sure the headphones work with um, the consoles, but uh, apparently the 7.1 does not work. Um, we're using it on a PC here, so um, no problem there. So the setup on this uh, was in incredibly easy. Um, once I got... Uh, once we got it plugged in, um, I mean, everything just auto-loaded. And um, so it just immediately worked. I didn't have to screw around with any settings or drivers. It just automatically plug and play. There we go, at its finest. So Corsair did a great job of making it user-friendly, um, which is not always the case um, with, with some of their stuff. So there's a notification you can see there on the window that everything's up and running and working fine. Um, so I was pretty happy with that. So next I want to go over the um, settings for you, uh, the 7.1 if you're using Windows. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but these are, um, well it's pretty self-explanatory. If you want to pause the video and read through this, this is how you um, turn on the spatial sound the 7.1 um, Dolby that that is um, integrated into Windows 10 so um, I will leave you with that there's also the IQ software that's available um, so you can download that and, and run that as well so uh, and that's um, Corsair Corsair's um, hard hardware support platform um, so a couple of options to improve uh, the sound and get and get the 7.1 sound um, so I just did the uh, spatial sound on Windows 10 I also downloaded IQ and uh, made a big difference in the sound quality well I had a day to um, play with the headset play some games um, kind of dial it in and everything. I am, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I spent 50 bucks on the thing for that price point. I wasn't expecting a whole lot and it, it definitely blew away my expectations. Um, we've got 7.1 surround in a $50 headset. Um, price may vary wherever you're at, but that's what I paid. Um, I liked that the mic's removable, so if I just wanted to use it for headphones, great. Um, I like the adjustable controls on the back of the headset. The only downside to that is you need to be aware when you're taking the headset off, putting it on, that those controls are there, obviously, because you can mess with your volume, accidentally mute, mute or unmute your mic. So just need to be aware that those controls are there when you're pulling the headset off, putting it on. Um, so the other, the only other critique I would have is that under long gaming sessions, it can get a little bit uncomfortable, um, which, you know, what headset doesn't, uh, so, you know, shift it around a little bit and, and it's fine. Um, the... And, and I would imagine that'll probably get better as it kind of wears in and breaks in a little bit because it is brand new. Um, so, uh, you know, for a fifty dollars headset, I'm really impressed. Um, the sound is immersive. It's expansive. It sounds like real 7.1. I can hear um, things behind me in game and to the left and right in front of me. It, it sounds, it differentiates between those things. So, um, the sound's really clear and crisp, um, there's good bass, um, there are other options in this headset that are a little more money, but you get, um, more features, so, um, I'll have links and descriptions of those in the, down there, in the thing, you know, the thing, um, so, look for those, check them out, um, also, go and subscribe. Subscribe. It's down there in the in the corner. I think it's this corner.
or maybe it's that corner, but there's a subscribe button there. Go and hit it. And then also, like it, because it's cool, right? I think so. Yeah, I think it's cool. <laughs> so, um, I do have these Leet shirts available. As you can see, the shirt is Leet. It's got my little logo there. Um, you can buy these at my Shopify store, my online store. So I'll have a link down there for those as well. Um, other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I uh, will see you next time.